Hello everybody and welcome to this playthrough for Pro and Expert Division in the Power Tool 9 Hole Cup. We will be looking at replays of all 9 holes. I'll give you the adjustments that I'm using as we go through and suggest some alternatives for different wind angles where appropriate. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already and please do hit thumbs up on the video. It is totally free. Check out the other tournament content on the channel homepage. Finally, we do have a Facebook group here at BK Golf Clash. Do search for us on Facebook. It has a lot of members, plenty of people sharing shots and help on your gameplay, as well as people posting free guides as well for a variety of divisions. So do join us over there on Facebook. All right then, let's get started with the playthrough, beginning as always with hole number one. A par four here then, and we do have headwind angle on this one. Going to use a kingmaker, max top spin, three bars side spin to the right. So with the APOC four, it is six bars of top spin. Uh, obviously a little bit more would get you nearer for your second shot. Giving myself some room for the curl here, so red ring touching the rough. Then I'm adjusting this one, max plus ten. I do go into overpower, two rings, so I add one ring of overpower on. And then I'm going to go with full curl with my APOC level 4. Perfect ball away. This is going to bounce nicely. We can push it a little bit harder there. We do land a little short of the rough, but we still go down the centre of the fairway very, very nicely. And we want to be in short iron range for our second shot. Drive distance, 381. Second shot here, we do need a short iron with top spin. So the Hornet, if you don't have the Hornet in a good level, then the runner is going to be your friend. Checking my club distance here, uh, because we can use some distance check notes on this one. Going with plenty of top spin, as you can see, and three bars of right spin so that I can land a little bit further uh, towards the pin. Ball guide to the hole with the Hornet level 7. In fact, with the tail, uh, headwind that we have here, the ball guide is going just through the hole. Here I play this one 60% slider with 30% elevation. So 60% on the slider. 30% elevation, obviously it will depend how far you are away from the green and the pin, so do check your distance, but for me as a rule I would play this one true distance plus 30. Drops very nicely with the top spin for an eagle. The par threes on this course are very tricky and here is one of them right now. This one is the easiest of the par threes but it still is difficult to drop and you will need uh, to have a couple of looks at the holes here with the different wind directions, especially on these par threes, to get uh, dialed in or at least close. Setting up a max distance with a katana here, blue ring touching the rough, playing with some right uh, left spin so that I do not risk the rough on the left. And then I'm going to adjust this one, max plus 40. Varying ways you can play this hole, you can set up with the ball guide, to the hole, play with more elevation, or you can play with less elevation and then have to offset. The choice is yours, this one, but it is a very tricky hole. Quarterback is your friend in headwind scenarios. You will bounce on the second fairway, the one that is connected to the green. Nice speed there, but we just need to adjust a little bit more there to get that one to drop. Par 5 here, and I'm going to bounce directly over to the fairway that you see here in this crosswind scenario. Little bit of top spin and two bars side spin to the left. I'm playing with a tight, and obviously, if you want to reduce the wind a little bit further, then Kingmaker is good. APOC 5 is just going to reach over there. If you have lower power drivers, you will need to stretch out, and then once you've adjusted, push up the right number of rings. We are just going to be okay here with our max plus 10 adjustment. I'm going with a little bit of overpower to make sure that I do make it over because we do adjust in this instance to a lower point. Half a ball of curl to the left and we are going to clear nicely and roll down the fairway. This is a narrow fairway so beware of great balls left and right. We don't want to be in the rough. I'd rather play safe and just find the centre of that fairway rather than push it too far. 346 yards here is going to leave a shot with our sniper. Now we do have a slight headwind angle here, so I'm going to back up a little bit before I add my spin. And here I'm adding top spin, a little bit of side spin to the left, and I'm going to aim uh, just at the pin here with the ball guide. 
as you can see it does glitch around a little bit here so this is a tricky one to get the speed right but you've still got a chance at an albatross on this par 5. The adjustment I make here in this crosswind is max distance 5% elevation. Max plus 5 just takes me into overpower there so I'm going to put a little bit of overpower on the alternatives though of course to go with more topspin and set up further back from max distance. Perfect ball away and this one does bounce very nicely and rolls to the pin with a good speed but just coming in a little bit to the right so maybe 10% would have been a better adjustment in that scenario. Par 3 here and a very very difficult one due to the a big drop in elevation from the tee to the green, but also from the island here to the green. Bounce over with your sniper if you do have tailwind. If you do have any form of headwind, then I would suggest going with um, a driver with a lot of backspin, like the Rocket or even Thor's Hammer, and just play for the birdie. This is not a hole-in-one hole, in my opinion. The best chance for that, if you want to try and dial that in, is by going with a very aggressive sand bump with a driver with topspin. Thor's Hammer is a good option there, to be honest, uh, but it is um, a very risky shot, and it is one you will need to dial in. The adjustment here, max plus 30, I do go with a little bit of curl to the right, and here I'm just looking to get on safely. We are just missing the bunker on the right, which definitely is in play, especially with wind from left to right. Could have done with a bit more topspin, but safely on for a birdie. Now, for the replays here on this par 5, I'm going to play with a berserker because it is going to really help us on the second shot. This is a very long par 5. So I'm playing with the quarterback for the accuracy. Could also go with the rock as well if you have enough top spin. If not, then obviously you can use a driver with power, extra mile, Thor's hammer or apocalypse as well. But the good thing about the quarterback is you can hit a minor great left, great right. It's still going to be fine with this narrow fairway. So adding top spin as shown, I do have a strong wind here, so I do take a little bit off to be cautious. The adjustment I'm making here is max plus 5. Max plus 5 on this one. And OK, we may not need a berserker really for the drive if we're using a longer driver, but for the second shot, a power 5 ball is really, really useful. And you'll see why in a moment. Minor great right, but still going to be absolutely fine, and we find very safe uh, position on the fairway. Second shot, regardless of wind direction and wind strength, you are going to need a wood club with distance. I will go with the um, big dog or the cataclysm, whichever offers you the most topspin. Here, as you can see, I'm playing with almost eight bars of topspin, one bar side spin to the left, and we just want to use that topspin to get as close to the green as possible. Uh, pretty much level crosswind here, as we have turned the corner in our direction from the drive. And this uh, is slightly uphill to the green, so we do want to make sure we have as much pace as possible. Once again, I'm going max distance 5% elevation. We do drop down to a slightly lower point, so I'm going to push up slightly here to max. Don't have much room to push up, but I then decide to go with about one ring of overpower just to compensate for adjusting down to a lower point. Perfect ball away, obviously beware a great right. You will get into the bunker most likely, and a great left does risk the rough. But we come very nicely up to the green for an easy wedge for our eagle. Par 4 here, and we do have an eagle to show you on this one. Katana is what I'm using here. Obviously a kingmaker is good as well, but we do want three bars side spin to the right. I'm stretching out here as I'm using a katana. Obviously with a power 3 ball or a better driver, you wouldn't need to do that. Um, but I'm adding my top spin and I want to bounce over and use the right spin and some curl to reach that little patch of fairway to the right of the bunker. The adjustment here is max plus 20 and then I'm going to push up the rings I was stretching out. Making sure I'm not going to overdo the push up here because the tailwind is going to give us a bit of a push and we don't want to land directly into the rough. A ball and a half of curl to the right in this wind angle, no overpower but we do want a perfect ball, and you will see here this one does bounce over very, very nicely. Definitely didn't want to push up any more than that, but we do clear the rough, and the top spin will take us very nicely down the fairway. Drive distance, 392. 
Here we are going to go with a thorn shot, and I'm going to play from the minimum distance line. Obviously, if you're a little bit further back on the drive, if you have less, less top spin, then you will um, be needing different spins here. But I'm finding the minimum distance line, and then I'm going to add my spin, which is obviously going to be backspin, and setting up here with the ball guide um, to the cup. Just pushing up a little bit from min because we do have a slight tailwind angle. I don't want to adjust to be in between clubs. So setting my spin, ball guide to the pin. And here my adjustment is minimum distance minus 10% elevation because this shot is played uphill. So min minus 10, even though I did push up a ring or two, I'm still playing min numbers. Perfect ball and we do have a good chance on this hole. And as you can see, the backspin grabs very nicely. We drop it for an eagle. Two options here, uh, which I will describe, just going to show you the sniper bounce over in tailwind. If you do have any headwind though, you can play a no movement shot with either the rocket or the quarterback, just to the left and above the beginning of the bunker. This is a tricky par three here, so add your spins. Again, this is difficult to get the pace right, and holding one here, if you do grab one here, is going to be very, very good indeed. Max plus 20 is the adjustment here. And if I'm playing the quarterback shot as well, I will be playing that either minimum or medium distance with 20% elevation. Because like the other par threes on this course, we do have a lot of elevation to deal with. Just bouncing before the bunker does come in a bit short, but again, it's going to be a very simple putt for the birdie on this tricky par three. And now we come to uh, another par four. And going to go with the Kingmaker here and the Apocalypse, playing aggressively here in the tailwind that we do have. Obviously, if we get um, a bit more headwind, then we're just going to bounce ourselves over to the fairway on the right, which is just off camera. But tailwind, you can either go full blast with a Berserker and go right over there, over the water to the green. Or, as I'm doing here, you can just bounce over and set up a Grizzly shot instead. Max plus 10 here bouncing in the centre of that strip of fairway with the right spin that we have going to add a little bit of right curl as well to make sure we find the final piece of fairway before the water. Half a ball of curl to the right, perfect ball away and we can actually use yardage notes if we do play this approach for our long iron. So just bounce nicely on the fairway here, drive distance on this one is 362 yards. From there, going to play with the Grizzly using yardage notes. And I'm using here 34% slider and 10% elevation. Applying backspin. And then we are going to set up here with the ball guide just short of the pin, or at least to the front edge of the cup, because we do have tailwind angle on this one. The Grizzly is very good. We do want the accuracy and the ball guide. So a little bit of backspin, and then, as I said, playing this one to 34% slider, 10% elevation. And then we are going to take our shot, and we do have a good chance with this approach. So if you don't want to spend a berserker, don't want to go full blast and risk the sand or the water or the rough, then this is, I believe, a very reliable approach in this wind angle, and offers a good chance of an eagle. Hits the pin, drops beautifully. And on to a par 5, now I'm going to show you the conservative route with the rock. Obviously you can go aggressive on the left hand side uh, with a load of top spin. Again a power 5 ball is good here if you want to go aggressive. But here with a kingmaker setting up right uh, side of the red ring touching the rough. And then we just want a couple of bars backspin. Max plus 20 is the adjustment here using the rock because of the good ball guide and the good accuracy. Because we are bouncing over to a narrow patch of fairway. So very nice wind angle here, don't need any curl, just want to focus on hitting perfect, which we do, and this one will bounce over very, very nicely, and it gets us to the centre of the fairway, doesn't really threaten the rough on the top, but we are still going to have a very, very nice shot with a distance wood club. Here I am going to use the Guardian level 9, because it offers me good distance and ball guide. Obviously you don't have Guardian 9, you can go with the Cataclysm or the Big Dog instead. Now I'm adding spin here, I do need to stretch out because I'm a little bit short. So I'm stretching out looking that I will need like two rings of push-up here. Make sure your second bounce is clearing the rough. 
Uh, obviously, we do have tailwind here. If you are playing this shot in headwind, you will need to make sure your second bounce is well beyond the rough because this one is played massively downhill. Max distance, 50% elevation here. Max plus 50. And if you're playing this shot, uh, if you're going left-hand side, you will still need at least 40% elevation. And again, a wood club with distance. There is a rough bump here as well if you get distance on your drive going left-hand side. So do bear that in mind. There are a couple of approaches on this hole. We do hit minor grade, but we are still going to find ourselves on the green and secure our eagle with a putt. Thank you for watching and good luck. Bye for now.